What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video for you guys. Hopefully, you know, the AC isn't blowing into the mic again. I'm sorry, I'm in the car again. Anyways, let me not ramble. Uh, today's video is gonna be about the CCNA. So, long story short, you know, just for those people that don't wanna watch the whole video, I know how it is sometimes. I just wanna hear, you know, really quick, you know, straight to the point. So I know I wasted your time so far by rambling a little bit, <laughs> but here we go. So how did I pass the CCNA at about 25 days? This is, I think it was like 25 days that I studied for it. Um, it was definitely less than 30 days. Uh, I think it was a little, I think we had like 24, but I'm gonna just say 25 days. So how did I pass in 25 days? You know, for all you people that don't wanna watch the whole video. So uh, resources I used, Jeremy's IT lab. Now he has the best videos, go watch his videos. Uh, what I did actually was I skipped all of his labs. So I didn't have to watch all his videos. And then um, I saved subnetting for last. So watch his subnetting videos, and then if you're still confused, uh, watch my subnetting video if you want. Um, and then, you know, there's plenty of other subnetting videos uh, out there. But long story short, you don't have to do hardcore subnetting on the CCNA. Just got to look at a chart. That's what I would advise you do. But second thing, uh, second resource was Neil Anderson on Udemy. Um, you know, I watched his videos as well. Not all of them, though. Primarily what I was confused about. Uh, so mainly Jeremy's IT lab, Neil Anderson. Then I did some Neil Anderson's labs. Not all of them. Just what I needed to work on. Um, third thing was I read a little bit of flashcards, but not really. You know, um, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I, I, I found flashcards really boring, so I kind of skipped over the flashcards, but I did use Boson uh, practice, practice exams. Last resource I used was Google. So I Googled a lot of stuff. Primarily, you know, it would land me on the Cisco websites. And then I did some labs. I think I said that already. Uh, I did labs, but not all of them, just what I needed help with or I was confused about. So there you go. That's how I passed in 25 days. That's all I did. Uh, I studied all day. You know, I came home from work. I would study for the rest of the day. So like four or five hours after work, uh, it would average to about 30 minimum hours per week of studying, 30 to 40 or maybe more than 40 because weekends I would study probably from 6 a.m. to 6 to uh, excuse me to like 9 or 10 p.m. <clears throat> so I was studying a lot. Uh, I studied all like all day, every single day. I didn't do anything else but study for the entire time. So yeah, there it is, guys. How I passed CCNA uh, in less than twenty in twenty five days. All right, so you know, I wanted to talk about some other stuff really quick. So I believe that you need your own motivation to do these things. Like I needed my motivation to pass all my tests. So if you've been looking at my other videos, I passed A plus security plus network plus. I passed my Azure 104 in January. I didn't make a video about that. I'm not sure if I will, maybe I will, but I passed that in January um, and then I passed my CCNA uh, and two other certifications, Junos JNCIA and Junos JNCIA DevOps. So I passed those certifications. I actually passed all three of those certifications in a month. And I'll talk about that briefly, but the reason why I did this is because I actually interviewed for a job at a video game company. I really wanted this job, guys. You know, I interviewed, asked a basic networking question, and I got it incorrect. It was super basic, guys. 
and I got it wrong. Now, let me say this. Uh, the network team that I was going to be put on, you know, in the location, I actually got laid off like a few weeks after that or a month after that. So I am very lucky. You know, I don't know why I got that wrong when I knew it, but maybe that's why, because I would have been out of work. So... I mean, that's, I guess I'm considering myself lucky, but at the time I really wanted that job. So I added the guy on LinkedIn. During the interview, I asked if I can add him. He said, yes, so I added him. But after I got rejected the next day, you know, heart sank, you know, my wife was right there. I just put my phone down. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> but you know how it is. Uh, you know, I was super disappointed in myself. So I asked the guy, hey, how can I get the job next time? You know, what do I have to do starting right now? And he told me everything I needed. CCNA, GNCIA, GNCIA DevOps. So that's exactly what I did. I wanted that job badly, which is why I did this, you know. So you need your own motivation, whether the motivation is money so I would recommend if that's your motivation, then it's going to happen eventually for you. So you just have to get there. And that's, you know, the thing I see a lot. And you know, I can tell you all this, but if you don't have that motivation and you don't study for your CCNA, you know, you're fucking around playing video games. You know, I, I love video games myself. I played all I've been playing all week, every day for the last three weeks. Um you know, go to bars, getting drunk and stuff, hanging out with your friends, you know, you waste time. You're going to postpone that. So with everything, even with CCNA, let me just say, please don't be afraid of the CCNA. It's a networking certification. So don't be afraid of it. Uh, and once you decide to get your CCNA, just like Yoda said, it's one of my favorite quotes, man. Just like Yoda said, there's no try. You only do. You only do it. So when I set out to get that cert, I actually failed once. I took it and I failed. I was That's the first cert I failed. So I was like, damn, like this cert's hard. But you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this every week uh, until I pass. You know, it's going to happen eventually. That's what I do with, you know, applying to jobs, getting these certifications. Once I set my mind on it, it's going to happen eventually. Uh, there's no if it happens, I hope it happens. None of that is going to happen. So please keep that mindset. You know, you, you, you're going to you fail your test. Who cares? Like, go study. That's what I did. I studied harder found everything I messed up on, you know, a lot of routing I, I wasn't 100% on. So I was like, let me stop messing around and go back and look at this because this test, you know, while it, you don't want to be scared of it, you don't want to, you know, you, I don't know, like not study enough. Uh, maybe I overstudied, but, you know, it was just like two, three topics I was missing out on. Plus, I did not have that chart up, you know, get that chart don't do subnetting on the test. You want to know it, but don't do subnetting on the test and waste time because, I mean, it, it, it takes too much time, guys. You know, if unless you could do it super quick, uh, you probably could, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just, you know, memorize the chart. It's, it's, it's super easy, but yeah, so do that. Um, and real quick about the JNCIA, uh, Juniper Certifications. I would definitely recommend to get those certs because uh, one, uh, okay, let me just say in the middle of studying for CCNA, I was like, man, this test is hard. You know, I don't know this. I was on vacation. I was a little frustrated because I wasn't getting the progress I thought I needed. Um, and then, you know, I'm like, let me take a look at this JNCIA, see what it's all about. So I studied on the website, Juniper website, you know, yada, yada, yada. I studied for three days. I studied for a tiny bit of Sunday, all day, Monday after work, Tuesday after work. 
So if you really think about it, it's like two half days or three half days, which is like one and a half days in my opinion. But I ended up passing on that Wednesday when I took it. So I passed the test. Oh, sorry. I studied for maybe two hours on Wednesday, but I passed the test on that Wednesday after about, I'll say three days of studying. Um, a lot of companies use Juniper equipment. So I would highly recommend to get that. Um, I know uh, some people might ask if I have networking experience uh, with my job since I was a system administrator. I would say yes, but not at a CCNA level. So, you know, I, I knew about ports. I knew how to plug ports in. I knew it was called like gigabit ethernet zero slash zero slash whatever. FE zero zero whatever. But a lot of stuff I did not know you know, like routing protocols to a CCNA level, uh, all the protocols. I wasn't familiar with all those protocols until CCNA. So I would say my network level was about network plus. And then if something went wrong at my job, you know, I was just forced to figure it out. Uh, thankfully, you know, they didn't have hardcore routing protocols. So I didn't have to deal with any of that, but, um, yeah, so don't let, the, don't let you know, if you don't have any uh, job or anything like that, I mean, still, you know, I'm going to continue to upload videos. I want to teach you guys things. Uh, last but not least, you know, the DevOps certification, that took me about a week to pass. Um, I want to say that was the easiest test I've ever taken, guys. I got a pretty good score and I finished the test with like 40 minutes left. So... I don't know like maybe i just studied too hardcore i was really in the zone but i don't know that's just what i did that's how i passed these tests long story short to you know wrap all of this up i'm a crazy guy when it comes to studying and getting the certifications i guess um do i recommend people do exactly what i do yes to a certain extent because, you know, in the end, it's going to be worth it. You know, I'm not saying do this for years or anything like that. But there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you just have to, you know, you just have to push yourself. Find that motivational thing that you need. So I found it with, you know, working at one of these companies. That's what I really wanted. And uh, I wasn't taking no for an answer. So don't take no for an answer when it comes to your CCNA. Don't be afraid of this test. Um, any way I could help, I'll help you. And one last thing, remember, the CCNA will not get you a job in itself. It'll get you an interview possibly, but remember you still have to work on your resume and you still have to answer technical questions on an interview. Uh, and you know, you still have to be, you know, that type of person their interview that they probably want on your team. <clears throat> so what I, what I mean is like, you know, I don't know how you are in an interview, but don't be like super mean or anything like that. I would hope you're not super mean on your interview because if I was interviewing you, I'd be like, hey man, I don't want a mean person on my team, you know what I mean? But anyways, guys, that's, that's all I have for today. I hope I helped you out. Um, feel free to comment. Ask any question you want about the CCNA. If I can answer, I'll answer it for you. You know, thankfully, I don't get a whole lot of comments. So I'm able to answer most comments that I get or respond to them. So, yeah, you know, it's a Friday night. It's gonna Friday. It's a Friday, almost Friday night. It's going to be a good night. Good day, guys. I hope this helped. And I'll be catching you all later. Peace.